Hello, my name is Guan Qingyang. I'm presenting our work Few Sample Name Anti Recognition for Security Vulnerability Reports by Fine Tuning Patron Language Models. This is a joint work with Shi Dinian, Zhi Pengling, and Xue Qingliu. The security vulnerabilities are routinely generated and reported to secure databases like CVE. For system administrators, they need to manually check the status of vulnerabilities to make sure the systems under their watch are properly maintained. Accordingly, severe consequences will happen when vulnerable systems are not patched timely. However, the manual approaches often cause cognitive fatigue for system administrators. In this recent thread of discussion Reddit, more than 120 people complain about the difficulty of effectively tracking the vulnerabilities in their systems. Therefore, it is vital to extract vulnerability information from test reports in a fully automated fashion. In this work, we strive to implement a system that could automatically extract vulnerable software names and corresponding versions from security vulnerability reports. The state-of-art system VIEM uses bidirectional GRU to extract vulnerabilities from security vulnerability reports. Under different settings, it could achieve an FN score of more than 92% and the best performance could be more than 99%. This system requires around 5,700 label training sentences to attain its performance. However, the annotation of security vulnerability reports requires not only time but also specialized knowledge in computer security. The problem is even worse when the labeling efforts amount to several thousand sentences. Therefore, our goal is to reduce the number of labeled training sentences while keeping up with the performance metrics while training a functional NER system. The VIEM dataset is associated with the VIEM system to test the system performance. It is a collection of security vulnerability reports with the vulnerable software names and their versions annotated. A snapshot of the VIEM dataset is shown on the right left hand side. In this report, the vulnerable software yellow saw pinky with the version 1.0 is identified. This dataset covers all 13 vulnerability categories listed on the CVE database. The statistics of the VIEM dataset training split is shown on the left hand side. We could say that the category MEMC is the vulnerability category with the most labeled samples because the number of labeled training samples in other 12 categories is smaller. There are two difficulties in few sample NER for security vulnerability reports. The first is the contextual dependency. Contextual dependency means the tag or same token could be different given the varying context. For example, for software name in the left-hand side report, the same Excel could be vulnerable software name or an identity token in the same time. Similarly, for software version, the same SP1 may refer to vulnerable software version and a non-entity at the same time. Another difficulty is the dataset imbalance. Dataset imbalance could be observed from different levels. In the sentence level, the MEMC vulnerability category has more sentences with SN or SV tags. In the token level, the MEMC also enjoys higher proportion of SN or SV tags. Previous work on reducing label training samples Film is a work on the setting of few show learning. Their systems are tailored to achieving acceptable performance with fewer than 10 to 20 label training samples. As we mentioned before, the best performance is close to 100% FFN score when the entire training set is available. However, the performance of few show systems could not reach the systems trained with the full data, and the gap could be more than 30 to 40% FFN score. In this work, we instead focus on few sample setting. We propose to find two pre-trained language models for NER. With the same goal of reducing label training samples, we allow our system to access a few hundred label training samples. We chose widely used pre-trained language models based on their ranking on the group NLP benchmark. We chose BERT, Roberta, and Electra. From the previous description of the VIEM dataset, we notice that the MEMC vulnerability category is less affected by the dataset imbalance problem. Therefore, we propose to follow a fine tuning and transfer learning to site pipeline to address a few sample NER problem. Concretely, we first fine tune the pre trained language models on the MEMC vulnerability category. 
Since the pretrain language models are part pre-trained on more general domain, this will help them adapt to new security domain. Then, we use the fine-tuned model to further fine-tune on other 12 vulnerability categories. This is called transfer learning. Since the fine-tuning helps the model gain domain awareness, the additional transfer learning will enhance model performance on the other categories. Pre-trained language models are now readily applied to neighbor and recognition tasks as they are pre-trained in an unsupervised way. The pre-trained language models for NER therefore requires another task-specific layer for supervised training. Specifically, a shared linear plus softband layer is appended to the output for token classification, and the model is trained through backpropagation with cross-entropy loss. From our experiment, we find that we generally need several hundred label samples to reach full data performance. We therefore strive to further reduce the number of label sentences to a few sentences per category, that is, few short settings. Structural is the state-of-the-art approach to address few short NER problems in general domain. It first samples a support set and then assign target token tag based on its one nearest neighbor to tag on in the support set. For example, if the target token president's one nearest neighbor is the support token minister, then the president will be tagged O. Similarly, the target token may will be also tagged O based on this one nearest neighbor today. Structured could work with any NER system. We therefore expect the inclusion of Structured to help us further reduce the number of label training samples. In terms of the experiment protocol, with the fine tuning transfer learning step fixed, we additionally include Structured on top of either of them. A rigorous experiment depends on data preparation, hyperparameter optimization, and the random scene setting. For data preparation, since not all data provides official validation split, we sample 10% of the training data as a validation set. For fine-tuning, we sample training set with 20% up to 10% of the data. This is equivalent to 58 to 576 label training samples. For transfer learning, we sample 32 up to 256 samples per category. We do this because other 12 categories have much fewer samples, and sampling by percentage yield overly too small training set for model training. For hyperparameter optimization, we apply grid search on two hyperparameters, number of epochs and learning rates. Their value could be shown seen on the left-hand side. We fix batch size to two, as we find setting the two yields a much better re results as compared to four to eight in our parallel experiments. We make sure there will always be three checkpoint states, regardless of the number of epochs chosen. The best checkpoint cho is chosen based on the VTFN score on software name and software version tokens. To make sure other experiments are reproducible, we fix randomness to 42. This is used to generate consistent train validation test set and to su suppress modern randomness because of the random seeds. In the fine tuning experiment, who could say that the performance improves when more label training samples are included? When we have access to 10% of the label training samples, we have the best performance. The performance we obtained for three pre-trained language models have only 1 to 2% of the gap in VTFN score with the system trained full data. We trade off 1 to 2% of the performance loss with the most significant 90% reduction of the label training samples. In the transfer learning experiment, we could find a similar trend of the improved performance when adding more training samples. But the performance plateaus when we try to add more than 64 samples per category. With the help of transfer learning, we could say that the performance on other 12 categories are substantially improved compared to directly applying the model fine tuned on the MEMC category. We could also say that the transfer learning helps close the gap with the competing system to less than 1% of the VTFN score. We achieve this result with only 64 label training samples per category. This is equivalent to only 11.2% of training data used in the competitive system. We now show the results by additionally adding structure to our system. We could say that adding structure to either fine tuning or transfer learning consistently makes the performance worse. And this draw could be as much as 20% of VTFFN score. 
When taking a closer look, we could see that structural trade-off better precision with the larger loss in call. Therefore, the overall VTYF1 score becomes worse. We are interested in why structural in one system causes consistent performance variation. We therefore conduct another experiment. We add one label sample at a time, invoke structural system, and observe the performance matrix of S and SV. When a single sample, 089358OD85 is included, the F1 score of SN drops by a surprising 60%. Therefore, this sample is the other separate sample to the NER system including structural. As SV performance does not spear similar drop, we speculate that this is related to the difficulty of contextual dependency we discussed before. Specifically, there are support tokens similar to text tokens, but these support tokens are not actually not entities given the context. To sum, in this work, we implement the IER system to automatically extract vulnerable software name and corresponding versions from unstructured security reports. Our system could reach competitive system performance with roughly 10% of the data. In the future, we plan to leverage unlabeled data, external knowledge base, and other adversary training strategy to achieve better NER performance with even less data. This is the introduction of the work. For more details, Please refer to our paper and code. Thank you for listening.